Shifting our focus now, in the latest crackdown towards women in Afghanistan, the Taliban have banned female students from private and public universities in the country. Now, according to a letter by Higher Education Minister, the Taliban have announced the closure of universities for women. The latest diktat further restricts women's access to formal education. The Taliban have already banned girls from middle school and high school. Women have been restricted from most employment. They have also been ordered to wear head to toe clothing in public. And just last month, women were also banned from parks and gyms. When the Taliban 2.0 came to power, they vowed to respect women's rights. But in the past few months, they've widely implemented their strict interpretation of Islamic law. Meanwhile, condemning the move, the United Nations has called it another broken promise from the Taliban, echoing similar concerns. The UN Special Envoy for Afghanistan said that the closure of high schools had undermined the Taliban administration's relationship with the international community. What it is, it's clearly another broken promise from the Taliban. Um, we have seen since their takeover, uh, and, it, and also in the past months, just a lessening of the space for women, uh, not only in education, but access to public areas, um, their non-participation in, in the public uh, debate. It's another very troubling, uh, troubling move. Now, the condemnation was swift from the United States as well. A U.S. State Department said it will see what it can do to hold the Taliban accountable, especially after its latest diktat. This unaccept unacceptable stance will have significant consequences for the Taliban and will further alienate the Taliban from the international community and deny them the legitimacy they desire. Uh, I do fully expect that uh, we will continue to pull from the tools that uh, we have at our disposal uh, to hold the Taliban to account. Uh, some senior members of the Taliban are uh, already subject to certain measures. Now, the university ban comes weeks after Afghan girls took their high school ed graduation exams. Thousands of girls also entered for the university entrance exams across Afghanistan, with many aspiring to choose teaching and medicine as careers. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.